ಓಕ್ರತುಂಡಮಸಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿಸಮಪ್ರಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಸರ್ವಕಾರ್ಯು ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯ ವರದೆ ಕಾಮಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಂಭ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಿರ್ಭವತು ಮೇ ಸದಾ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವೋಕಾ ಪಿಷೇಪರೋಗಿಣಾಮೇತಿಭಾಗಿಹಾ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಾರಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ದಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಸ್ವಿಣ ತ್ವಾನ ಪ್ರಶಾಸ್ತಾರ ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಪರಂ ಪದ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಪುನಕ್ತು ತೇಜಸ್ವಿಧಾವಧಿ ತಮಸ್ತಮಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಶಾಂತಿ ನೀಭಾರತೀರ್ಥ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಣ್ಯಮುನೀಶ್ವರೋ ಧೀಮಹೆ ಪಂಚದಶಿ ಕೈವಲ್ಯಪದ ಸಿದ್ಧೇ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೈ ಪಂಚದಶಿ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ವಿ ಡಿನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಗ್ಯಾಪ್ we will summarize what we have seen panchadashi kara the vidyaranya muni from the beginning he is saying that he is used the word sambit sambit ekarupa na vidyate that sambit is atma another name for atma is sambhitu it is chit sat chit sat chit atma sambhitu chit prakashah and that sat chit sambhitu 
is Parananda. If you say it is Parananda, then why there is Praha for the objects of this, for sense objects? It is Parananda. If it is not known to be that, then why there is intimate love for oneself? So, therefore, the, whether it is Banam or Abhanam, whether it is known or not known, Banena Paramprema, Abhanena Paramprema, Banena Vishaya, Vishaya Spraka. Chitashikala says in the eleventh stroke of his song, Abane, na param brahma. If it is Abanam, param brahma. Atma cannot be the object of your love. If it is Bane, na vishaya is praha. If it is known, then vishaya is praha will not be there. Therefore, Banamba, Abanamba, Bane api, Bata asu, Paramatma nanda matmanaha. Pane api, even though it is known, but still it is not known. It means not completely known. For a thing not to be completely known, known, not completely known. You see at the same time, don't see. It means what? There are some obstacles. There is some pratibandha, because of which you are not able to see it. When you see an object with your eyes, physical eyes, you are not able to see means what? Something which obstructs your vision. That's why you're not able to see. There may be something between the object and your eyes coming in between and obstructing. Pratibandha. That's called because Pratibandha. Similarly, this Atma is, the Sandhita is, Banam or Abanam. Bane api abhata eva. Therefore, there is some Pratibandha. And he give a very beautiful example. What is Pratibandha? What is Pratibandha he defined? He defined and then he gave a beautiful example. What is Pratibandha? Asti Bhati Iti Devahara Vastuni Taniruddhasya Tanirasya Viruddhasya Tanirasya Viruddhasya Tasyod Padanam Uchyate Pratibandha Iti What is Pratibandha? Yes. That is Tan Nirasya Tan Nirasya Viruddhasya Nirakaranam Krutva Yavahara Vastuni Nirakaranam Krutva Viruddhasya Utpadanam Obstructing, hiding one thing and projecting something to be in its place. That is called Pratibandha. Pratibandha is in the context of this Atma, Sambhita. What is Pratibandha is that because of which we are not able to appreciate Atma as it is. Since this object, the Atma, as, in Devahara Vastuni, Devahara Vastuni, a divine truth, Devahara Vastuni, Devahara Vastuni, the object that is Asti Bhati Iti Devahara Vastuni, Tan Nirudasya, Tan Nirudasya, Tasya, Tasya Utpadanam, that is Pratibandha. The kind of the opposite Devahara, opposite Devahara due to Pratibandha. Pratibandha negates, negates the Asti. Bhatitvam of the Astibhati Vaharatvam and produce Viruddhasya Utpadaram and produce Viruddhasya Utpadaram. That is not able to appreciate Atma as Parananda and Atma is Parananda, that is Ananda Swarupa, but not able to appreciate. It means there is some Pratipadas and some obstacle. It means it is covered. 
as though it is covered by something and in its place something else is projected. That is called Pratibandha. And he gave a beautiful example. In a Adhyetra Varga, many people are chanting and son of Devadatta also is chanting. Not able to hear clearly the voice of Devadatta distinctly. Why? Because of the chorus. Similarly, Atma Vishayapi, Sambit Vishayapi. Sambit is not able to recognize as it is Parananda because of Pratipatta obstacles. Therefore, what is it? What is the Pratipanda? What is the Hetu for the Pratipanda? That is a topic. That is the, the topic. What is a Hetu? Atma, which is Atma, the Sambhita, which is Asti, which is Bhati, which is Ananda Surupa, which is myself. It is not, it is not appreciated by me as it is. Why? Because of Pratibandha. Why Pratibandha? Pratibandha is because of, that is what the topic is, because of the Prakriti. Pratibandha is because of Prakriti. What is that Prakriti? Prakriti is nothing but Avidya. With regard to individual, it is nothing but Avidya. Because of Avidya, one is not able to recognize, not able to appreciate oneself as one is. Not knowing that one is Sambhita, Satchit Ananda Swarupa Atma, superimposing the attributes of this Anatma, Anatma Shariram on oneself, taking oneself to be a limited body-mind senses, Thinking that one becomes nashtaha when body is nashtaha. Dege nashte agam nashtaha. Dege pushte agam pushtaha. Superimposing the attributes of shariram on the atma. Atma is chit. Shariram is jada. Both can never be connected. They cannot have samanda. That granti chit, jada granti, impossible. Consciousness and the Anatma can never have joint venture, can never combine, but it is combined as though combined, where in my cognition, in my buddhi, that is because of this avidya, that is a pratibandha, that is the prakriti. So, therefore, here the topic is. The Acharya here introduces the topic that Prakriti, that is Prakriti which is the Samsara Karanam. What is Samsara? Wanting to become something is Samsara. Not knowing what one is, but wanting to become. Not knowing that one is Ananda Surupa, one wants to become happy. One, one wants to become complete. One wants to become satisfied all the time. The very meaning of the word satisfaction, the very meaning of the word fullness, the very meaning of the word happiness is Atma, is you. That is not seen. It means avidya, something which obstructs your vision, something which obstructs your understanding. That obstruction is called Pratibandha. Atma is Asti. Atma, Bhati, always Bhati. But Tan Nirusya, Tan, tan Nirusya, covering that, Virdasya, Virdasya Utpadana, that is called Pratibandha, and the cause of that Pratibandha is Avidya. And that is the, the topic, the cause of Samsara is Avidya. That is what the author here discusses. This is what we saw in a short summary. We can say this is what we have seen so far. 
Now we will continue with the shloka number 15. 15 the shloka also we saw, but still we will just read and understand what the shloka says and then continue. Can repeat. Chidanandamaya Brahma Pratipimbasamandita Chidanandamaya Brahma Pratipimbasamandita Amorajas Sattva Guna Amorajas Sattva Guna Vitrate Vivita Chasa Vitrate Vivita Chasa Chidananda Maya Maya Brahma Pratibhimbasamandita, one word. I think I explained the shloka, the samasa and other and all other things. So I'm not getting into that again. Prakriti is the Mula Karana. Prakriti is a Mula Karana. You say Avidya is a Mula Karana. No, you are saying Prakriti. There is no difference. There is no difference. What is the cause for this Pratibandha? Pratibandha is Pratibandhasya Karani Bhutayaha Avidyayaha Swarupam. Swarupam, here the author says the cause for the Pratibandha is Avidya. The cause for the Pratibandha is Avidya. And Avidyayaha Swarupam. Avidyayaha Swarupam. Here the author is saying, Tasyaha Mola Bhuta Prakritiki. Tasyaha Mola Bhutaha. Pratibandasya Karnam is Avidya. And Avidyayaha Mola Bhuta Prakriti. Avidya has got its Mola Bhuta Prakriti. It means what? That is, Prakriti is divided into two types. Avidya and Maya. First, that author himself will say later. He doesn't use the word Avidya here, but we are saying Avidya. So, Pratipandasya Karna Bhuta is Prakriti. He can take Pratipandasya Karna here. Ikakara says Avidya and all. But Avidya is going, is going to, the author is going to say later. Prakriti is of two types that Avidya and Maya iti. We will see that later, but here we can take Pratibandasya Karnamis Mula Bhuta, this Prakriti ki. The Prakriti is a Mula ka. Pakashena Kriti ki. It has a capacity to produce everything. Therefore, Mula Karna. Mula Karna Asti. Before the creation, Eka Rupatva Samhita Nitya. It is Satyam, it is Nitya. Before the creation. Before the creation, that was a Prakriti. There was only Brahma. Before the creation. In fact, Brahma is only the Satyam, Paramatika Satyam. After the creation, after the projection, that is, creation is possible. If there is only one thing, how creation is possible. Therefore, therefore, for the Jivas to have their Karmapala, Enjoy the Karmapala. This Ekam Brahma has no desire to produce this Jagat. Projected this Rishti with the help of the Prakriti. With the help of the Prakriti. Prakriti is not a separate reality. The reality, the Paramarthika Sat is Brahma. Brahma alone Paramarthika Sat. Prakriti is Aparamarthika. So, what is Satyam is? Satyam is, that's why we say, Sambhita Yeka Aditya Iti. 
prakriti is required for the srishti it is the material cause like we say abhinna nimitta upadana karanam that for anything to come you need two types of karanam nimitta karanam and upadana karanam nimitta karanam is the maker nimitta karanam upadana karanam is the material the material is the prakriti the material is not aware from the maker that is why we say abhinna nimitta upadana karanam therefore this prakriti is also which is prakriti without prakriti srishti is not possible we say but this prakriti also is not away not separate from brahma prakriti is not separate not away from brahma with therefore prakriti has got adhinatvam on brahma prakriti has got adhinatvam on brahma and brahma brahma doesn't have adhinatvam on prakriti it is स्वतंत्र प्रकृति परतंत्र ब्रह्म इज स्वतंत्र दिस प्रकृति वाट इज दिस प्रकृति प्रकृति दिस इज नथिंग बट दिस इज प्रकृति इज मेड ऑफ थ्री गुण सत्व रजस्तमो गुणा प्रकृति सत्व रजस्तमो गुणा प्रकृति इट इज मेड ऑफ दिस थ्री गुण श्लोक They use the word prakriti. Even in Sankhya, they use the word prakriti. For them, Purusha and prakriti, two realities are there. Sankhya darshana. It is a Dvaita darshana. Two things are there. Purusha is there, prakriti is there. We also borrow the idea from Sankhya, but we reduce that prakriti is not to what is there is only ekam brahma. Prakriti is not real. It doesn't have It doesn't have reality of separate reality apart from Brahma. So this prakriti, which is of this three guna, Chaturnatmika, Sattva Rajasthamo guna ha, Vidha Vidha Acha. It is of two types. It is of two types. Even though the author here is, he says two types. The two types are sattva pradhana prakriti and rajas pradhana prakriti. Two types. Third type also it is a tamas pradhana prakriti that we will discuss later. But now two types: sattva pradhana prakriti, rajas pradhana prakriti. So Brahma, then sattva pradhana prakriti, rajas pradhana prakriti. Brahma with the prakriti, only the srishti is possible. Creation is possible. Prakriti is nothing but the upadi. We use different words. Don't carry away by the words. The, the all the words they they are used in certain sense that we have to understand what it means. We use the word upadi. Upadi, upadi. The word we use like the father's son. Shariram is upadi. Shariram is upadi for the atma. At shariram is upadi. That upadhitam is atma chaitanya. Atma consciousness is it independent or it is depend on the shariram upadi? It is independent. That is why. Nainam chindanti shastrani. नैनम जगति पावक न चैनम क्लेद गिंत्यापोषगति मारु न जायते मीयते वचि आत्मा डसंट हव डिस्ट्रक्शन इट इज नॉट बॉन्ड दट इट डिस्ट्रक्शन इट इज विदउट एनी अवयव 
cannot undergo any change. It is adhikriya. What about the upadi? Upadi has got all the modifications. Shad bhava. Chasti, jayate, vardate, dupragandate, apakshiyate, vinashyati. All these things are for the upadi. But in this upadi, daitanyam manifest. And the upadi also is because of this Upagita Chaitanya. So because of this Upadi and the Chaitanya, there is a Veda Pratiti. There is a Veda Pratiti. There is a cognition of difference. There is a difference. There is a, there is a difference. There is a cognition of difference. Veda Pratiti. There is a Veda Pratiti difference, different difference cognition, cognition of difference. So, therefore, therefore only duality, therefore only two things are there. That is what the Sankhya's to say, Prakriti and Purusha. Prakriti and Purusha. Similarly, with regard to Jiva and Ishvara. Jiva, the individual, and Ishvara. There is no difference between Jiva and Ishvara. That is what we say. Paramarthataha Jiveshwaryoho Vedaha. Jiva is not different from Ishvara. But in what about in Yavahara? Yavahara is, there is a Veda, that is a difference. Paramarthataha, that is from the standpoint of Atma, there is no difference between Jiva and Ishvara. But Upadi Drishtya Veda is there. Upadi Drishtya Veda is there. That's a Veda Prati Tau Upadihi. Upadihi Eva Karnam. What is the Karnam for the Veda Prati, the, the cognition of difference? Upadi. In the Upadi only this Chaitanya manifest. And this Upadi, nothing but Prakriti, it is made up of these three Gunas. And this three, this upadi, is it independent? It is. Is it para, is swatantraha, paratantraha? It is paratantraha. It is dependent on Brahma because Brahma alone is satyam. Brahma is samvidya is swatantra nitya. This samvidya is swatantra nitya. What about this prakriti? Prakriti, it is. Brahmanaha Adine. Brahmanaha Adine Vartate. It doesn't have independent existence. And because of this Upadi, because of this Prakriti, there is only Vivahara. And the nature of this Prakriti is that it is made of three gunas. Sattva, Rajas, Tamma, Gunaha. And this Prakriti is of two types. Based on what guna dominates. Sattva Pradhana Prakritihi, Rajas Pradhana Prakritihi. So, in the Sattva, Sattva Pradhana Prakriti, Rajas Pradhana Prakriti, it is Vividha, two types of Prakritis. Prakriti divided based on what guna dominates. Prakriti is nothing but these three types of gunas. Based on what guna what guna dominates, the prakriti is for our discussion, it is divided into two types. Sattva Pradhana and Tamak Pradhana. In this prakriti, in this upadi, whether it is Ishvara upadi or Jiva upadi, in that upadi only, this Brahma, Brahma is reflected. Brahma is reflected. Brahma is Brahma manifest. The manifestation of Brahma through the Upadi, if it is through the individual Upadi, that is Jiva Upadi, if it is the total Upadi, which is Ishvara Upadi. Upadi is nothing but made of this Trikuna, it is Prakriti only. 
बिकॉज जीव ईश्वर इस तयोगो भेदह कल्पितः तयोगो भेदह कल्पितः दैरफोर ओनली प्रकृति आल्सो बी डिवाइडेड इनटू टू सत्व प्रधान प्रकृति रजत प्रधान प्रकृति यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई वी डिवाइड प्रकृति इनटू टू बिकॉज देयर इज देयर इज वेद कल्पित वेद इट इज नॉट रियल वेद Veda, the difference is projected. The difference is imagined. The difference is imagined between Jiva and Ishvara. Why Jiva is thought to be different from Ishvara because of the difference in Upadhi. Upadhi is it Satyam? If it is Satyam, the difference is Satyam. Upadhi being Mitya, therefore the difference is Mitya. Therefore, only we say Aikyam. When you have satyatta buddhi and upadi, then Veda is real. When you have mitya mityatta buddhi and upadi, then Veda is unreal. Then what is there is Jiva Ishvara. I keep there is no Jiva, there is no Ishvara. What is there is only Brahma. Since we are discussing the mula kanam par samsara, therefore, therefore, we try to understand. This, this, this upadi, and which is the pratibandha, which is the mola karana, how it is, how it is formed, what it is. We are trying to understand the nature of this upadi, of what is made of this. It is made of these three gunas: sattva, rajas, tamas, gunaha, prakriti. So therefore, chidananda vaya brahma pratibimba samanvita. समन्विता सम्यक अन्विता उपेता एंडोड विथ एंडोड विथ व्हाट व्हाट इज एंडोड विथ प्रकृति प्रकृति व्हिच इज दी व्हिच इज द कारणम फॉर संसार प्रकृति व्हिच इज एंडोड विथ ब्रह्म प्रतिबिंब दैट इज प्रतिबिंब बिंब प्रतिबिंब रिफ्लेक्शन रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ ब्रह्म ब्रह्म चैतन्य reflection of consciousness so consciousness is there it is reflected it is manifest in this prakriti and that brahma is chidananda maya it is chit chit means sat also they are not different already we saw sadeva chit chideva sat that which is sat existence is Chit only, chit only. Consciousness only. Consciousness is the isness and consciousness cannot be separated. Therefore, when we say chit, we can understand that is sat also. Sadananda, chidananda. It is ananda also. Therefore, chidananda maya, maya pratyaya, maya is a special pratyaya. Here we are using the maya pratyaya. we discussed in the last class it is used in the sense of swarupartha swarupartha mayat idananda maya brahma brahma which is of the swarupa chit ananda swarupa chit ananda swarupa brahma tasya brahmanah pratibimbah pratibimba samanvita samanvita all are sri linga why because prakriti is sri linga so prakriti which is endowed with Brahma Chaitanyam and Brahma is of the nature of Chit and Chit and Ananda. Chit and Ananda also not different. In fact, these are the lakshanam of Brahma. Satyam Yana Banantam Brahma. These are not adjectives to Brahma. Not Visheshana. It is lakshana. Chit is Sat and that Sat Chit is Ananta. That is Ananda. It is Ananda Swarupa. It is lakshana. Lakshanam of Brahma. So this prakriti, which is endowed with the Brahma pratibhamba, that endowed with this pratibhamba, the reflection of Brahma and Brahma, which is Chidananda Maya, and the prakriti is made of these three gunas. 
ತಮೋ ಗುಣ ರಜೋ ಗುಣ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಸೊ ತರ್ಫೋ ತಮೋ ರಜಸ್ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣಾಹ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ತಮಸ್ ರಜಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸತ್ವ ತಮಸ್ ಸಕಾರ ಅಂತ ಶ್ರೀಲಿಂಗ ಸೊ ತಮಃ ಚ ರಜ ಚ ಸತ್ವಂ ಚ ತಮೋ ರಜ ಸತ್ವಾನಿ ತಮೋ ರಜ ಸತ್ವಾನಿ ಇತರೆ ಇದರ ದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಸಂಹಾಸ ತಮಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಪುಂಸಕಲಿಂಗ ರಜಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಪುಂಸಕಲಿಂಗ ಸತ್ವಂ ಆಸೋ ನಪುಂ ನಪುಂಸಕಲಿಂಗ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ತಮಃ ಚ ರಜ ಚ ಸತ್ವಂ ಚ ತಮೋ ರಜ ಸತ್ವಾನಿ ಇಟಸ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರಥಮ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಬಹುವಚನ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಫಲಾನಿ ತಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ತಮೋ ರಜಸ್ ಸತ್ವಾನಿ ಇಟಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ತಮೋ ರಜಸ್ ಸತ್ವಾನಿ ಗುಣ ಇಸ್ ಗುಣ ಇಸ್ ಬಹುರಿ ಸಮಾಸ ತಮೋ ರಜಸ್ ಸತ್ವಾನಿ ಗುಣ ಯಶ್ಯಾಂಕೃತ ಸ ತಮೋ ರಜಸ್ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಗುಣ ಇತಿ ಗುಣ ಗುಣ ಇದು ಬಹುವಚ ತಮೋ ರಜಸ್ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ತಮೋ ರಜಸ್ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ತಮೋ ರಜ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಯರ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ತಮೋ ರಜ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಹುಬಿಗೆ ಸಮಾಸ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಲಿಂಗ ಅದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ತಮೋ ರಜ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ತಮೋ ರಜ ಸತ್ವಾನಿ ಗುಣ ಯಶ್ಯಾಂ ಪ್ರಕೃತ ಸ ತಮೋ ರಜ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಇತಿ ಬಹುಬ್ರಿಗೆ ಸಮಾಸ ಸೊ ಇತರೆ ಇತರ ದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಗರ್ಭ ಬಹುಬ್ರಿಗೆ ಸಮಾಸ ಬಹುಬ್ರಿಗೆ ಸಮಾಸ ಜನರಲಿ ಉಳಿಸಿ ಸ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಯರ್ ಸ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಯರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ಸ ಸಮಾಸ ವಿಗ್ರಹ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಚಿತ್ ಚ ಆನಂದ ಚಿತ್ ಚ ಇದ ಆನಂದ ಕರ್ಮಧಾರೆ ಸಮಾಸ ಚಿದಾನಂದ ಚಿದಾನಂದ ಆನಂದಮಯ ಚಿತ್ ಚ ಇದ ಆನಂದಮಯ ಚಿದಾನಂದಮಯ ಚಿದಾನಂದಮಯ ಚ ತದ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಚಿದಾನಂದಮಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಚಿದಾನಂದಮಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಚಿದಾನಂದಮಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ತೇನ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ತೇನ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಚಿದಾನಂದಮಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಂಡೋರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸತ್ ಚಿತ್ ಆನಂದ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಈಸ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಡ್ ಬೈ ತಮೋ ರಜ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಗುಣಸ್ ಸತ್ವ ತಮರ್ ತಮರ್ ತಮೋ ರಜ ಸತ್ವಾನಿ ಗುಣ ಗುಣ ಯಶ್ಯಾಂ ಪ್ರಕೃತ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸೇ ದಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸೊ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬಿನ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ಕಾರಣ ಮೀಸ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಕಾಮ ಕರ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಹೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕಾಮ ಕರ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಕಾರ್ಯ ನೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಪಂಚದಶಿಕಾರ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಎಲಾಬರೇಟಿವ್ ಪಂಚದಶಿ ಸ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಗ್ರಂಥ ಸ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಗ್ರಂಥ ಯರ್ ದಿ ಪಂಚದಶಿಕಾರ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಈ ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವೆರಿ ಎಲಾಬರೇಟ್ ಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕಾರಣ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಾರಣ ದೆನ್ ಫೈನಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಾರಣ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ and that is the karanam for samsarikam of jeeva what is about the other type we will see when we read this shloka the type we will see now let us i'll read this commentary simple commentary not i explained already the same thing here in fact this month this shloka we have
ಭೂತಾತ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇದಾನಿಂ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಹೇತುಭೂತ ಇದು ಹೇತು ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಹೇತುಭೂತ ಹೇತು ಭೂತಾತ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಓಕೆ ಇದಾನಿಂ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಹೇತು ಭೂತಾತ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದಯಿತು ತನ್ಮೂಲ ಭೂತಾ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ವ್ಯುತ್ಪಾದಯತಿ ಚಿದಾನಂದ ಇತಿ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಸಾರಿ ಪ್ರತಿಬಂಧ ಪ್ರತಿಬಂಧ ಹೇತು ಭೂತ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಪ್ರತಿ ಬಂಧ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ರತಿಬಂಧ ಪ್ರತಿ ಪ್ರತಿಬಂಧ ಹೇತು ಭೂತಾತ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾಂ ತತ್ ನೋ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದಯಿತು ಟು ರಿವೀಲ್ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಹೇತು ದಿ ಕಾರಣ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರತಿಬಂಧ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಟ್ ತನ್ ಮೂಲತಾಂ ತನ್ ಮೂಲಭೂತ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂಲಭೂತ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂಲ ಕಾರಣ that is prakriti prakritim vitpadayati that is vitpadayati that is explains here chidananda iti that he explains the word chidananda iti that is chidananda maya brahma pratibhima samanvita iti iti mula bhutam prakritim vitpadayati acharya yachidananda roopam brahma tasya pratibhimbena ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರತಿ ಛಾಯ ಛಾಯ ಇಸ್ ಶೇಡ್ ಶೇಡ್ ಇಸ್ ದರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ದರ್ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ದರ್ ದರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಸೊ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ದರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ದ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸೊ ಎತ್ತು ಚಿದಾನಂದ ರೂಪಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ತಸ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬೇನ ಪ್ರತಿ ಛಾಯ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಯುಕ್ತ ಎಂಡೋಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಉಪೇತ ವಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ ತಮೋ ರಜಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸತ್ವ ರಜಸ್ ತಮೋ ಗುಣ ತಮೋ ರಜಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ದ ದಿ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಸತ್ವ ರಜಸ್ ತಮೋ ಗುಣ ಸಾಮ್ಯ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಯಾ ಸ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಇದು ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ಸಾಮ್ಯ ಅವಸ್ಥ that is when they are in equilibrium state the state when they are in equilibrium state it's called prakriti samya avastha prakriti that is prakriti made of these three gunas sacha sa referring to the prakriti dvida tris prakara bhavati it is of two types chakarat pakshamanam prakarantaram suchayati chakarat pakshamanam ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಅಂತರ ಬೈ ದಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ಶಕಾರ ಬೈ ದಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಬೈ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಶಕಾರ ದಿ ಆಥರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಅಂತರ ಸೂಚಿಸಿ ಈ ಸಜೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಅನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಅನ್ಯ ಅನದರ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ದಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ವಿವಿಧ ಭವತಿ that is explaining in this you will read that sattva shud sattva shuddhi sattva shuddhya vishuddhi yam sattva shuddhya vishuddhi yam sattva shuddhya yeah only okay so don't think it is yeah, because it's yeah, it is very it is uh, it is a uh, consonant it is yakara plus a ಸದ್ವಶುದ್ಯಶುದ್ಯಾಂಸ್ಯಾಸರ್ವೈಶ್ವರ two words are used by that you can understand maya and abhidya so here i'll say what it is and then we see the shloka the words samasa etc prakriti sammate mate sammate ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಸಮ್ಮತೆ ಮಾಯಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ 
Maya Vidya. Maya Vidya. Maya and Avidya. So Maya and Avidya Yoho Swarupa. Uchyate. That's when Shloka. The Swarupa of Maya and Avidya is being said in this Shloka. Satta Shuddhi Avishuddhi Vyam. Satta Shuddhi then Abhishuddhi Vyam. Sattva Shuddhi, then Abhishuddhi becomes Yansandhi, Sattva Shuddhi, Abhishuddhi Vyam. So you have to, it's the one word, but inside, this is a Sandhi has happened. Sattva Shuddhi plus Abhishuddhi. What's, what's Sandhi? Yansandhi. Sattva Shuddhi, Abhishuddhi Vyam. So Sattva Shuddhi is that, Abhishuddhi is that. Tabhyam, Sattva Shuddhi, Abhishuddhi Vyam. Tasma Shuddhya Vishuddhi Vyam. Tabhyam. So it is Sattva Shuddhya Vishuddhi Vyam is it is it is the Pratama Vibhakti Vivajana. Sorry, it is uh, uh, it is it is it is uh, Tritya Vibhakti. Okay. It is Tritya Vibhakti Vivajana. Sattva Shuddhya Vishuddhi is Sri Linga. Dakaranta Sri Linga. It is Tritya Vibhakti Vivajata. Vyam. Vyam is the purpose. Sattva Shuddhi. Sattva Shuddhi is Sattva, the presence of Sattva. The presence of Sattva. Sattva is Sattva Guna. That is Sattva Shuddhi. Sattva Sya Avishuddhi. We have to connect like that. Shuddhi Avishuddhi. Sattva should be connected to Shuddhi. Sattva, the word connected, should be connected to Avishuddhi. Shuddhi, Avishuddhi. Shuddhi, pure. Avishuddhi, impure. Sattva, the first word. Sattva, Shuddhi. And Sattva, Avishuddhi. Tabhyam, Sattva, Shuddhi, Avishuddhi. Vyam. So, Sattva Shuddhi means presence of Sattva. Sattva Abhishuddhi, absence of Sattva. Sattva is Sattva Guna. Sattva is Sattva Guna. The three types of Guna and the nature of the Guna we know. We have seen that before. Sattva Guna. Sattva Guna is that is responsible for knowledge, tranquility, etc. In the Gita, Bhagavad Krishna has, 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 has uh, talked about elaborately Sattva Shuddhi. Based on that, also we saw in the, in the Bhagavad Gita class also that Chaturvarnya Maya Srishtam in that context, so you can recollect. So Sattva, Sattva Guna. Sattva Guna stands for knowledge, tranquility, Tamas for activity. Dynamism. Uh, sorry, Rajas for activity, dynamism. Tamas for inertia, sleep, sloth, sloth, slothfulness. So here we are talking about Sattva, Sattva Guna, one of the Guna, the attributes, the qualities. Because this quality is dominant, therefore the person is person is tranquil, is knowledgeable. Everybody has got three types or the three gunas at different times it manifests. Sattva, Rajas, Tamas. Everybody has, everybody must have these three gunas, combination of these three gunas. If Tamas is not there, then you cannot go to sleep. It's a problem. If Sattva is not there, then in the class you cannot sit and think. So thinking means Sattva. And for gaining something, you have to be active, you have to work. Then Rajas also must be must be there. Sattvam Rajasthama Giti Gunaha Prakriti Sambhavaha In Gita. Same thing also here. Here Mugyana Mani says Sattva Rajasthama Gunaha Prakriti It is Prakriti Sambhavaha. Gita says Prakriti Sambhavaha. Here we say it is made, nothing but made of the three gunas only. So 
Prakriti Sambhavaha, these gunaha, or this Prakriti, this Prakriti is made up of these three gunas, then the Sattva Shuddhi is presence of Sattva, Sattva Abhishuddhi, absence of Sattva, Tabhyam, because of that, Prakriti Mate, Prakriti Mate, Prakriti Sammate, Prakriti Mate, Prakriti Sammate, agreed upon as consisting of this prakriti, consisting of what? Two forms. Based on the presence of sattva and absence of sattva, this prakriti is considered to be of two forms or two types, or two forms, maya and avidya. Maya and avidya. The twofold prakriti, the twofold prakriti. One is sattva shuddhi prakriti, other one is sattva avishuddhi prakriti. Sattva shuddhi prakriti is maya, sattva avishuddhi prakriti is avidya. Therefore, maya vidye te dve. It is all in vivachanam. Maya vidye, maya cha avidya cha, maya vidye. Similarly, te sate vivachanam, te mate, the prakriti is of twofold, te mate, te mate, mate also mata, mata is aka, aka rantaha, strilinga shabda, mata, mata, mate, mata, because everything is vivachanam, therefore that is also in vivachanam, mata, mate, iti. Te mate sa te, that, that, that is a te here. So ta, te mate, why it is te? Because Srilinka, because prakriti is Srilinka. Therefore, maya vidye te mate, te mate. Maya vidya, maya and avidya, avidya iti. This prakriti is of two types and that maya is sattva shuddhi. Maya is Sattva Shuddhi, endowed with more Sattva, dominant in Sattva, and Avidya is Sattva Abhishuddhi, absence of Sattva, or Sattva is less. Sattva is less. So, Maya is Sattva Shuddhi. It means Maya in which Sattva Shuddhi, Sattva is dominant. Maya is, in that Sattva is dominant. It means other Gunas are also there. Rajas and Tamas also there. All these three, they go together. There is nothing in the world which is only total Sattva, not there. All the three Gunas must be there because it's Prakriti, Trigunatmika. But in Maya, Sattva is dominant. Then Sattva Avishuddhi. That is, Sattva is not that much Shuddhi, that much pure, pure. therefore Abhishuddhi, it means impure Sattva, otherwise we can call Malina Sattva, Malina Sattva, Malina Sattva means impure Sattva. When can you call Sattva as impure? When it is not dominant. When Raja, Rajoguna is dominant, then Sattva Sattva is, sattva is one step lesser than that because Rajoguna is dominant. So then Sattva becomes Malina. Sattva becomes Malina. That is Rajas overpowers Sattva. That is called Malina Sattva, otherwise called Sattva Abhishuddhi. Here the author uses the name Sattva Abhishuddhi. Sattva Shuddhi, Sattva Vishuddhi. Sattva Shuddhi is that in which Sattva is dominant, pure Sattva. We say pure Sattva, it is only a figurative usage. There is nothing pure Sattva. Sattva always will be with other guna, Rajas and Tabas. Shuddha Sattva, when we say, it is dominant in Sattva. Similarly, Sattva Vishuddhi, when we say, Sattva is dominant by other guna, Rajoguna in this context, because we are talking about Avidya. That was Rajapradana Prakriti. One is Sattva Pradana Prakriti, that is Maya, 
other one is Raja Pradana Prakati, that is Vidya. Raja Pradana Prakati, otherwise Malita Sattva, we can say. Overpowered Sattva by Rajas is called Malina Sattva, otherwise called Avidya. So, Sattva Pradana Prakriti is Maya and Raja Pradana Prakriti is Avidya. Iti Maya Vidye Cha De Mate. De Mate is Prakriti He Mate Prakriti of these two types Maya and Avidya. Okay, then of this Sachit Ananda Brahma, the Brahma is is Maya Bimba Vashi Kritya Sachit Ananda Brahma becomes Ishwaraha Maya Bimba Vashi, keeping Maya under control. Maya Bimba but Maya Bimba Vashi Kritya, Maya Bimbaha Vashi Kritya. So Vashi Kritya, keeping Maya under the control, this Sachit Ananda Brahma, Chidatma, Maya Bimbaha. Maya Bimbaha is, that is what Chidatma is. Maya Yam. Pratipalitaha, Pratibimbaha, the consciousness which is reflected in Maya. Brahma which is reflected in Maya, that becomes Ishwaraha. Maya, Bimbaha, Ishwaraha, Syad. Tam, Vashikritya. Tam means what? Tam, referring to Maya. Maya, Vashikritya. Maya, Bimbaha, Ishwaraha, Syad. Keeping Maya under control, this Jidatma, this Sachit Ananda Brahma, this Maya Bimbaha, what happens? It becomes Ishvara as though, that is, means by identifying with, by identifying with the, the Upadi, Maya Upadi, Brahma as though becomes, as though identified, therefore as though becomes Ishvara. Vashi Kritya, keeping the Maya under control. The Sachidananda Brahma becomes Ishvara. It cannot become Ishvara, therefore, as though Ishvara. From the perspective of Maya Upadi, Brahma is called Ishvara. From Brahma is what, what it is. It is Sachidananda Swarupaha, Swarupam Brahma, that being what it is. From the standpoint of this Maya Upadi, Sattva Pradhana Prakriti, it gets the name Ishvara. So Ishvara is nothing but Brahma Chaitanyam only with the Upadi. Upadi is Mithya. Therefore, Ishvara is Brahma alone. Ishvara is Brahma, Brahma alone. Therefore, the Brahma which is reflected in the Maya Upadi is called Ishvara. As Brahma is reflected in this individual Upadi is called Atma. Similarly, for the total, Brahma which is reflected in the Maya Upadi, Maya Upadi is a total Upadi. You see, total Upadi which is the Karanam for this Jagat. What Karanam? It is a material cause. It is the material cause. Upadana Karanam. It is Upadana Karanam. Therefore, Brahma which is reflected in the Maya Upadi is called Ishwaraha and that Ishwara is Sarvajnaha. So in this Shloka, Maya Bhittaha is Sachit Ananda Brahma. Sachit Ananda Brahma Tam Mayam Vashikritya Ishwaraha Bhavati. Ishwaraha Bhavati. And Ishwara is Sarvajnaha. Sarvam Janati. Sarvam Janati. Ishwaraha. And Maya is what? It is Sattva Pradhana Prakriti. Because it is Sattva Pradhana, therefore Sarvajnatvam is possible. Sattva stands for knowledge. 
therefore only ishvara is all knowledge all knowing is omniscient because ishvara is that because the upadhi is maya upadhi is sattva pradana prakriti why jiva is alpagya because it is malina sattva therefore jiva is alpagya is not sarvagya he has got limited knowledge whereas ishvara who is the jagat karta is all knowledge he knows everything there is nothing which is out of his knowledge in it nothing can happen out of his knowledge everything happens under his vision he knows he knows everything and he has got maya upadhi not simple upadhi it's a it's a total upadhi maya upadhi and maya under his control whereas for the jiva avidya not under his control he is under the control of avidya therefore only he is a samsari that's the difference between ishvara and jiva that that also author will say later so here in this shloka the author introduces ishvara 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 is nothing but the reflection of brahma chaitanyam the manifestation of brahma chaitanyam in the total upadhi called maya and that maya is sattva pradana prakriti prakriti being there it is divided into two types based on the dominance of sattva one is sattva shuddhi one is sattva shuddhi other one is sattva avishuddhi sattva pradana prakriti other one is malina sattva or rajas pradana prakriti two types of prakriti so among the two in the sattva pradana prakriti the manifestation of brahma in the sattva pradana prakriti is called ishvara and that ishvara is sarvagya therefore having all knowledge that reflected consciousness that is ishvara we can use the word reflected pratibimba brahma pratibimba in the maya upadhi what is that it is ishvara ishvara doesn't have ajnanam because sattva pradana maya is under his control therefore therefore only is sarvagya and here also maya ma, this maya upadhi we say this upadhi is mithya all this we require to explain the srishti that is why we say upadhi is also finally it will be reduced to mithya it is not a separate reality it is not a, a separate reality upadhi is also mithya upadhi is what nama rupa is just a name and form that also will finally reduce to what into brahma because it is mithya that remember the pot doesn't exist apart from clay it is just a nama rupa pot is nothing but upadhi similarly here also this maya is also upadhi it is mithya mithya upadhi and in that maya upadhi when brahma manifests we call that as ishvara who is the srishti karta who is the nimitta karanam so nimitta karanam ishvara and upadana karanam is maya that is what we say ishvara and maya is what both combine and create this srishti ardana ishvara ishvara is shiva maya is a shakti if the shiva alone creation is not possible shiva cannot move without maya maya is required maya consists of all the three shakti icha shakti kriya shakti jnana shakti jnana shakti of this ishvara is because of this maya so therefore the, the both are to be both are to be the god srishti to come that is what it is presented as purusha and stri ardana ishvara one is nimitta karana other one is upadana karana that is shiva and shakti so therefore is this this maya is the upadana karana and maya under is control it means maya doesn't overpower ishvara like unlike this jiva therefore vashikritya the word vashikritya is to show that maya is maya is well under the control of control means maya cannot maya cannot cover the knowledge of ishvara it's a vibhuti that it's a vibhuti of ishvara the glory of ishvara 
can be recognized through the Maya. That's why Ishwara Ishwara is all knowledge. The all knowledge of Ishwara is it is not it is not it is not disturbed or it is not reduced. It is not limited by Maya Upad. The all knowledge of Ishwara. In fact, it it enhances. Therefore, Vashikritya. That, that is the meaning of the word Vashikritya. In other words, we can say Maya doesn't make Ishwara a samsari. Whereas Avidya makes a Jiva a samsari. Why a Jiva who is none other than Brahma, at Brahmatma, why is a samsari? Because of Avidya. But that is not in the case of Ishwara. That's why the word Vashikritya is used. Vashikritya. Ishwara is Maya. Abhi. Maya, Maya to Prakriti Pitya, Mayanam to Maheshwaram. Ishwara is Maya Bi. Tam Maya Mashikritya, Maya Bimba, Sadhagyaha, Ishwaraha, Syad. So Maya Yam, Upa, Maya Yam or Upado, Prati Bimbitaha, Ishwaraha. And this Maya is Sattva Pradhana Prakriti. So Brahma Chaitanyam reflected in Maya becomes. Ishwara, Sarvajnaha, he knows everything and he is in alone the form of everything. He is all knowledge. Therefore, Sarvajnaha. Sarvajnaha is Upalakshana, Upalakshana of Ishwara. We can bring other things. Sarvajnaha means Sarvashaktiman. Is, is Sarvashaktiman is all powerful, omnipotent. All the other things we can bring. Sarvajnaha is only one. It's only a Upalakshana. So, Therefore, when we say Ishvara, we have to understand three things there. Ishvara means Brahma Chaitanyam is there, and Brahma Chaitanyam reflected with the Maya Upadi and Maya Upadi. So, three things are there. The reflected, the reflected Brahma Chaitanyam consciousness is called Ishvara, and the medium is Maya Upadi. And Upadi is Vidya. Therefore, the reflection is not different from the the original. Therefore, Maya being, Maya Upadi being Nitya. Therefore, what reflected in Maya, that consciousness, reflected consciousness, it is not different from the original consciousness. Therefore, what is there is only consciousness, Shuddha Chaitinam, Brahma Yeva. That is the, the idea, that is a, the vision of the Shastra. We have to talk about Upadi and all because for us, this Jagat is real. If Jagat is not real, then we don't have to talk about this Upadi. But for us, the Jagat is real. We cannot dismiss the Jagat as unreal. Because our first inquiry into this, this spiritual starts with the inquiry into the Jagat. Who created this Jagat? The question itself, who created this, this Jagat? It means the Jagat is real. That is why the question, who created this Jagat? You didn't ask the question, is Jagat real? Then the, the then the teaching will be different. The teaching will start from a different, with, uh, with different uh, position. It will start from a different uh, level. But Jagat is real. That is why who created this Jagat? Why am I born? It means you are born. You are so sure that you are born. Are you born? Really speaking, you are not born. What is born is only the Upadi. You are not the Upadi. If you are the Upadi, if you are the Upadi, then you must be aware of the Upadi all the time. You must be aware of the Upadi even in sleep, but doesn't happen. Even in Swapna itself, you are not aware of your Upadi. In Swapna, you drop this Tula Upadi, you have your Swapna Upadi, you are one with the Swapna Upadi, and you are in a totally different world. You are not aware of the Vyavaharika that. Upadi, the dress changes. You change the costume, even in the very Swapna. Then what to talk about the dreamless state? Sushupti Avastha. Sushupti Avastha, you are completely unaware of this Upadi. So, therefore, are you the Upadi? You are not the Upadi. You are not this body. But you are so much, so much identified with the Upadi, this body. Therefore, you say, I am so and so. I am this gender. I've got data of the birth, all the bio data, etc. Because you don't question, am I born? You are you are so sure that you are born. Therefore, only 
the teaching therefore only the teaching has to be as though the upadi is real you have to start the teaching as though the upadi is real then finally slowly when you understand this upadi is not real then what you see what is there is only brahma chaitanya alone is that's why we, we say it is mithya because we know mithya therefore we from the beginning we say it is mithya mithya upadi is mithya whether it is upadi of ishvara or whether that is upadi of jiva it is mithya only to explain the jagat we need these these terms maya upadi total at the level of total at the level of individual we need upadi that total is there there must be a total there must be a creator who is the creator ishvara if Ish ishvara is a creator how does he create he must have some material yes that is that is the maya upadi are the maya different from ishvara no it is one with ishvara therefore abhinna nimitta upadana karanam ishvara he created this jagat he created this jagat so that brahma chaitanyam alone that that brahma chaitanyam reflected the maya upadi is called ishvara that ishvara alone is the jagat karanam therefore he, that ishvara is not different from brahma displacing maya this maya upadi as mitya what is that ishvara that ishvara is brahma that is why we always say we use the word ishvara ishvara meaning brahma because ma, the upadi maya upadi is mitya ishvara ishvara we say ishvara is jagat, jagat karanam brahma ishvara that ishvara is not different from the atma sarva jeeveshvara aikyam what about the sharir upadi mitya maya upadi is mitya jeeva upadi is also mitya only equally mitya so therefore dismissing it aikyam abedaha abeda buddhi iti so here in this shloka the acharya now he builds up he builds up slowly the structure of this the the, 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 the teaching what is going to be presented so going step by step starting from this starting from samvit then samvit sat chit and ananda the question came that ananda is not fully experienced by me i don't have that ananda anubhava all the time why because there is pratibandha what is the cause for the pratibandha the pratibandha is prakriti what is this prakriti this prakriti is nothing but of the three types trigunatmika sattva rajas tamo gunatmika prakriti and this prakriti is of two types prakriti consisting of these three gunas are of two types what is that maya and avidya maya is sattva pradana prakriti and avidya is raja pradana prakriti and this maya is the upadi of ishvara maya is the upadi of ishvara and that is sattva shuddhi maya sattva vishuddhi that is avidya whose upadi is that that is going to be talked about in the, the next shloka i will read the commentary and then we can stop i'll explain that saketukam dvaividyam eva darshayati along with the hetu the two types of prakriti is shown by the author satveti sattva iti sattvasya prakashatmaka that is the quality of sattva prakashatmaka prakashatmaka knowledge effulgent shining brilliance that is sattva prakashatmakasya gunasya shuddhi gunantarena akulushi kritata that is not tainted by other gunas that is sattvasya that is called shuddhi shuddhi what is the word what is the meaning of shuddhi gunantarena akulushi kritata the status of not being contaminated by the other gunas not contaminated other, other gunas it is called shuddhi avishuddhi is gunantarena kalushi kritatvam by other guna it is kalushi krita it is contaminated avishuddhi tabhyam by that sattva shuddhi avishuddhi bhyam by these two sattva shuddhi and sattva avishuddhi tabhyam techa dvivide tabhyam this prakriti is of two types maya and avidya maya iti avidya iti maya vidye maya cha avidya cha maya vidye itre tra dvandha samasa maya cha avidya cha 
ಮಲಿನಸ್ Here we are talking about Avidya, therefore we can say Rajaf Pradhana Avidya Iti, Rajaf Pradhana. Edartam Maya Avidya Yoho Vegaha Vuktaha Tadiranim Darshayati Maya Bimbaha Iti, Maya Bimbaha Maya Yam Pratipalita Pratipalita Haj, Pratipalita Shidatma Ta Maya Mashi Krutya Swadhi, Swadhi Ni Krutya Vartamana Ha Sarvekya Ha ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞತ್ವಾದಿ ಗುಣಕ ಈಶ್ವರ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಸೊ ಮಾಯಾ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ತಯೋಗೋ ಭೇದ ಉಕ್ತ ದ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇದಾಯಿಂದ ಶಯತಿ ಮಾಯಾ ಬಿಂಬ ಮಾಯಾ ಬಿಂಬ ಇಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಬಿಂಬ ಇಸ್ ಮಾಯಾಂ ಪ್ರತಿಫಲಿತ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಾಯಾ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರತಿಫಲಿತ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಚಿದಾತ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಾಂ ಮಾಯಾಂ ವಶೀಕೃತ್ಯ ದಟ್ ಮಾಯಾ ವಶೀಕೃತ್ಯ ಸ್ವಾಧೀನಿ ಕೃತ್ಯ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಲ್ಯೂಡ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಮಾಯಾ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವಿಭೂತಿ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಸೀ ದ ಜಗತ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಆಲ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಆರ್ ಮಾ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ವಿಭೂತಿ ಮಾಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವಿಭೂತಿ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ Shakti is an ornament for Shiva. Swadini Kritya, Vartamanaha, this Ishvara is Sarvajnaha, Sarvajyatvadi, Gunakaha, endowed with Sarvajyatvam, Sarvashakti Matvam, etc. All these Gunas. Gunakaha, Ishvara. Asya is alone is called by the name Ishvara. So Ishvara is to be understood as not different from Brahma. ಈಶ್ವರ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿತ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿತ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿತ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಉಪಾಧಿ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಜಗತ್ ಕಾರಣ ಸೊ ಉಪಾಧಿ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ವಾಟ್ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಸಮಷ್ಟಿ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಮಾಯಾ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಮಾಯಾ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಸಮಷ್ಟಿ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಉಪಾಧಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾಶಿಷ್ಯ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿಶುಡ್ ಹಾವ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆಫ್ ತತ್ವಬೋಧ ತತ್ವಬೋಧ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗ್ರಾಂಟೆಡ್ ವಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಿ ನೋ ತತ್ವಬೋಧ then we then we, we do this because we use the word vidya maya upadi etc all the terms already we discussed it the background is sattva bodha always the background is sattva bodha the basic text otherwise the terms are done that be confusing what is this we are talking about what is this ishara what is upadi are they two or the one the vision will be unclear okay i hope you understand any doubts yes yes guru ji yes guru ji yes guru ji thank you so much any doubts anybody no guru ji it is totally clear dhanyawad 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 ishwar ji ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಗುರುಜಿ